What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I revisited a photo I had done probably eight years ago. Now, this is about Olympus Mons. It's the, basically the largest volcano in the solar system, right? Now, again, I'd done this before, but this time I decided to go back into this and work the magic and see if there's anything different that I can pull out. Well, I did. Now, when I show you this photo, it's going to be hard to wrap your mind around because it almost looks like a city. Here's the other option. Because it's on a slant, is it possible that under the surface of that hill is not just rock and sand? Is it more of a high-tech skin? I know, you're probably scratching your head going, what? That doesn't make sense. When you see this photo, try to wrap your mind around it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. You're going to love this. Let's just jump right into it and check it out. Okay, you can see it right here. It's from the European Space Agency, or ESA. And you can see perspective view of the eastern scop of Olympus Mons looking southwest. Now, you can download it right here on the right-hand side, halfway down that page, and it shows right here high-res JPEG, and it's like 7.69 megs, right? Now, you can see right here, this close-up perspective view, looking southwest, shows the eastern scarp of the Olympus Mons volcano. The HRSC obtained this image on 23rd November 2004 during orbit 1089 with a ground resolution of approximately 11 meters per pixel. I think that's like 23 feet, isn't it, somewhere on there? I could be wrong, but you guys can correct me. The image is centered at 17.5 degrees north and 230.5 degrees east, right? Again, credit goes to ESA, and you can see it right here uh, in Berlin and DLR, so on and so forth. So uh, really, really cool. What we're going to look at is right here, right off center from the middle, but right here. Now, again, we're looking at an angle of this. Is it possible that they're making this look like a hill and it's actually more flat than it is a hill. So again, is this a city we're about to look at or is it a high tech skin? Let's just get right into Photoshop and check this out closer. All right, you can see it right here. I've got it on a tilt about 33 degrees clockwise. The reason for that is because I want to go in like this, okay? Because I want you guys to see this and how weird this really is. Now, get out your magnifiers because you really want to look at this, especially when I do a full enhancement, okay? Now, let's just get right into this photo. First things you're going to see is these, what look like cutouts of the surface of the side of this volcano. Notice right here, 90 degree angles, corners, cutouts, what could this possibly be, folks? Look at this. It almost looks like the ground or the skin has fallen through. Like, in other words, they're panels, and they've dropped in this area right here. Look at this closely, folks. I'm going to zoom into this a little bit. Check it out your magnifiers. Look at this area right here alone. Again, the colors are there to fool you. Now, speaking of colors, let me ask you guys a question. What are a couple of the colors that colorblind people cannot see? Red, orange, they see them as different colors. A lot of these colors they see. Maybe this is the reason why they use a rusty kind of nasty color on these Martian photos, right? Think about this a minute. But getting back to this, check this out. Look at the cutout here of this ground. We can see it right here. Right? Looks like it's doing this. And it looks like this area down here is lower than this upper piece here. Check that out closer. Okay. Slide it over here to the left. Look at this whole area right here. That, to me, doesn't look like it's just sand just falling down a mountainside. Look at this. Really? Look at the shapes that are in there. Check out this area. Now, again, I'm looking at perspective. If I was to back out of this... And you can see this right here if we do this. You would see all of this dirt sliding down. Sand, dirt, gravel, rocks, doesn't matter what it is. And yet somehow it worked its way around this middle section, which, okay, it could do that. However, since when do you have these squares and cutouts? Okay, so let me just zoom back into this. And we're going to go slowly into this. Again, pause this anywhere, folks. I tried to bring this out a little bit better. Okay. 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you folks can see this a little better. Again, using your magnifiers, eyepiece, whatever it takes. Try this filter. Okay, it's a little bit better. It's bringing out some of the lines a little bit better, right? Okay, now let's start to break this bad boy down. Again, look at what looks like these cutouts right here. To me, this is absolutely insane that a hillside or a side of a volcano would do this. But folks, it gets a lot better than this. Watch this. Let's just jump down to here. Now, let's have a closer look. You can start to see now that this looks more like a skin that's almost like, picture this being no holes in here at all, okay? So this is just a flat skin, and what you're seeing is what's under it, and that's what it appears to be to me, okay? Now, let's get into the full enhancement. I'm back a little bit, getting full enhancement color, and then we're going to do the black and white. Folks, pause it right here. And I'm even going to get rid of this sidebar. Pause it right here, right now, and look this over. Sharpened it up a little bit. Made it look a little bit better. Anything that was lighter color, I brought out brighter. Anything that was darker, meaning lines that were faint, we brought them out. And some of the areas that were really, really dark, we wanted to bring up the exposure or at least bring it out a little bit to see if there's anything else in here. Now, I'm just going to back out of here, but more so we can get this whole entire thing in here, meaning right here on the lower left as well, and over there to the right. Folks, look at this. This area here alone, all that is here, looks like it's been busted apart, separated. This is absolutely insane. When I'd done this, like I said, about eight years ago, now I did call this, I think I said this was like a car, and these were like tunnels, but it actually does look like tunnels. Why? Look at this. Line. Line. Now, picture a ceiling broken in from a tunnel, and you're seeing within it. But now, because my skill's a little bit better and bringing this stuff out, I'm seeing this as a small city. Now, let's go into black and white, fully enhanced. Watch this. Again, have a look at this, folks. Absolutely crazy, crazy stuff. I took out my magnifier and looked at this, and I was totally blown away the amount of stuff. What you need to also look at is the stuff over here. In between these areas, this here. Again, this. Are we looking at multi-layered areas here? Check this out. We have this area here, which looks like the top. We have what looks like step-down areas underneath the skin, if you will. Again, top here looks lower down here. You can see what looks like black area, like this has got some height to it. And again, this one here is lower. This one's higher. What are we looking at? Me personally? I'm seeing what looks like a city. I see what looks like caved in areas. Now, again, if we were to go back, just bring this back, rotate this back to where it's supposed to be, okay? This is a hill. <laughs> I mean, this is a hill. So one part of me is saying, well, there's no way there could be a city that could build like on a hill like that when it looks like it's a flat area. In other words, when I had this 33 degrees clockwise, it looked like a flat area, but how about now? We don't know what the degree is, and it's pretty steep, as if, if you ask me. Why would they build like that on the side of this one part of this hill? And I believe there's a lot more to it, because I've actually, again, investigated a whole lot of this. So why would they build like that? Or, again, what we're seeing here is dirt and rocks and sand. You can see that coming down. And what's under all of this is an actual shell, high-tech shell, in that over a course of time, this is caved in and separated, and that's what we're seeing. So I'm going to leave it like this in this original position. We're going to zoom into this. I'm going to go full color again, enhanced, and check this out, folks. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like busted up shell, if you will, and we're seeing the inside of it. Again, up here, it looks like it's all separated, caved in. All up here. And we have what looks like broken parts, and you can see inside of it. Again, is it possible they build multi-level? And this is the reason why we're seeing underneath. In other words, this is purposely done. To me, in my opinion, this is absolutely more solid evidence of structures on Mars. Black and white view. Let me zoom right in. 
And I'm going to go back to the raw right now. Have a look at this area alone. I'm going to circle this right here, just one part. Look at any part there. I'm going to go back to the raw. It's still there. All these little whiter dots, all of these lines. Of course, we did bring it out much better, but check that out. Full color. Black and white. Folks, it's right there. To me, this is absolutely awesome. So I don't know, in all honesty, what we're seeing here. Is it caved in? We're seeing underneath this outer wall? I don't know. I'm trying to wrap my head around it because we're looking at an angled area. So would it be cities and they'd build it like this on a hill? Or is it an actual skin and it's covered with dirt? And with this area just happens to be exposed, perhaps it was bombed. If you look back over here, we're going to back out a little bit. It, this looks like it was heavily hit right here on the top right. And over the course of the years, the dirt and whatever else just rolled down on each side of it. And what we're seeing is, again, the outer skin, something that would be underneath this dirt and gravel and rocks, and it's kind of busted apart. Like it took a hit and it exploded inside and it just blew the panels right out of it. I, I don't know. I'm just going completely sci-fi in you guys right now. But what are we seeing here? I'm going to rotate this again, 33 degrees, get that pretty level. Back out of this a little bit. Again, the original. Folks, notice the colors in there. They're trying to block it all out. Check that out. One more time. Do a couple of these here. I was trying to use filters to bring this out. Slowly but surely, started to see more and more depth. And then tried a different way to get this out, and it came out much better. Bringing out the lines, bringing out the depth of the photo. You see the whiter pieces all in here, those little specks? Just bring them up. That's all we're doing. They're all there. In fact, I'll zoom into this, and I'm going to go back and forth to check that out. Just bringing the whiter areas up more. That's all I'm doing. You can see any one of these areas... If they had a lighter portion to the areas, I brought them out. That's all I did. Right here. One more time for the black and white. Have a close look, folks. Pause it right here. And there you go. Folks, I said this before and I'll say it again. What we think we know, we know nothing about Mars. We simply do not know. When you think you've seen it all, there's always something new coming up. Like I said, folks, I got two theories. Either they built like this on the side of a volcano, or it's an outer skin. At one time, the sand, gravel, rocks, and everything was covering this. And somehow, at least at the top of that, it looks like it's been blown to pieces, been spread apart and broken apart. And we can see what looks like panels blown out of it. Or, again, do they build multi-level? I don't know. Now, again, to me, folks, you've seen this. Without doing any of this, you can see cutouts, 90-degree angles. The rest of the hill does not show this. So what are we looking at here? Again, my opinion, it's high-tech. It's something that was built. Now, is that side of that mountain, or a volcano, rather, is that some kind of uh, giant city inside that? I don't know. Again, it looks like an outer skin, and the sand has been blown away from it. It looks like it took a hit, and everything was just completely spread apart and completely decimated. But a lot of the pots look still intact, right? I don't know. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to hear what you got to say, and I definitely want to hear your input on this one. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. And again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.